Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. So I've been noticing something around YouTube and it seems to be a trend, I guess. So I'm going to jump on the bandwagon and uh, do one of these videos myself because it seems to be very popular on YouTube and that is is the Blackmagic Cinema Camera 4K still worth it in 2021? Uh, especially after the update to 7.3, which gave this camera some amazing new features that I wouldn't have dreamt that Blackmagic would actually give this camera, since it is by now an older model, but it's still a fantastic camera. So the short answer to if it's worth it, definitely. But uh, let's have a look at some footage. I'm focused. I've been watching for the omens. I've been listening to everything you said. It's been running through my head, locked and loaded. I got the feeling that you know it. Yeah, I've only just begun. I won't stop until it's done. Till you're broken. Cause the bigger they are, the harder they fall. You build your fortress and I'll climb your walls. You got your armor, I see your flaws. So welcome to the fire. Right now the camera is more or less at the same price as it was when it was released and that was around $1300 and that is including DaVinci Resolve 17 or 16. You can always upgrade if you it's 17, 16 so it's not a problem. It is one of the greatest software so that's also a plus. What this camera does give you is uh, raw, raw recordings. It has a fantastic image. It shoots on CFAST 2.0 cards, USB cards, and it can also shoot on a solid state drive. On the side, we have some different ports going like audio, audio jack, headphone jacks, uh, full HDMI, which is very seldom in these cameras. It also has a power plugin and also a micro XLR which are going to give you phantom power for your microphones. Blackmagic also has one of the most simple menu systems in the world. It's not like having to work in a Sony system, for instance, with a lot of different buttons and menu toggles. It's super simple and intuitive and it just works. So the mount of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, it is such a long name, is a micro four thirds. It works super great with Micro Four Thirds lenses. However, if you're using something like a Metabone Speed Booster or a Veltrux, you can actually adapt Canon lenses in, onto this and get control over iris and focus and stuff like that. The main things I usually use on my camera is I would use a Veltrux to get the EF mount, but most of the time I am using manual lenses. So, I'm not too concerned about the focus because this camera has a focus, tap to focus, but it's not really something you would rely on. And for the work I do, I do not rely on autofocus. For So for me, this is not a problem. I know it's a problem for a lot of people. The battery life for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K is something people hate a lot. They simply hate the battery life of 45 minutes, which is what I'm getting out of the battery whenever I am using the standard 
battery inside with is a um, Canon LPE6 battery and you can get them anywhere, everywhere. Also, you could get a battery grip for this. I do have that as well and that will give this a little bit longer time. If you want to have your camera powered all day, I would recommend to you something like a V-mount or something like that. Or you could just plug it into the wall using the charging cable included with the camera. So there's no question about that the image coming out of this camera is amazing. And for the price you are paying for this camera, it's a no-brainer. This is still a fantastic camera in 2021. However, if you feel like you want to upgrade, the upgrade for the 6K Pro isn't too bad either because it does give you the built-in NDs and the tilting screen. Again, this does not have a tilting screen and people hate that, but um, I usually use a monitor on top of my camera so I can see that I'm in focus and stuff like that, like I'm doing right now while I'm talking to you guys via the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.